hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today i have a special guest <laughs> to review uh this hair dryer like how do they even call it like salon or professional hooded dryer something like that but yeah this is what i want to review today like i've been on a hunt for a proper hair dryer in my house like for a long time every time i look at reviews on amazon or ebay you have like a bunch of negative reviews and a bunch of like people being dissatisfied with the ones they bought so it was very hard to find i'm talking like i'm talking about affordable like the affordable range you had reviews with like let me say for example 1000 people who have bought an item uh, amongst those 1000 people you have like 600 people being dissatisfied or you have like 400 giving like really really bad reviews so it was hard to find a perfect affordable hair dryer that actually had good reviews so i kind of like gave up so i finally bought this one you know uh where you attach the hair dryer on and it, yeah you know i'm sure everyone already knows about this so that's what i've been using and so one day i was on ebay and i was looking for something else and i this hair dryer like popped up and i said anyway let me just check and i checked and it had like uh i don't really remember details but it had like so many good reviews you know and it had like maybe out of two out of like 1400 people who had bought this like 10 people had something bad to say about it and i said all right i don't care what those 10 people have to say if all these 1300 and something people had something to do about it i'm just going to buy it so i went for it it's called um Turn around, baby girl. Let's see you. It's the MWA Ward as the brand, and I'm going to link everything down below if you want to. In case you want to get yours, I'll link. I'll put the link in the description box along with the mark and the price and everything in case you're interested. But I remember it cost like seventy dollars yeah minus the shipping uh, shipping will depend on your location of course but its price was 70 dollars i'm sure but i'll link the exact amount down below so this is how the head area is looking like uh you know down here is just like the leg and then you know um yeah i'll show you the full video i've used it already like seven times like i've had it for maybe four months now so i know what i'm talking about it came in a very big box and the box almost scared me like i was already thinking maybe i have to like there are so many different parts and it would be so complicated to put it together but no it was so easy to put together i also insert a clip of how i mounted it I mounted it without help like no one helped me I did it myself I just followed the manual and it went well many of the reviews I was reading uh, I saw girls saying like yeah my head when I have a roller set on my head it kind of fit it's made for white girls with a flat hair so if you have big hair it's not going to fit or they'll say it was unstable some people said when you do a wash and go and you go into the dryer it sucks it, it like pulls your hair upwards instead of like the air blows like upwards and it like sucks up your hair like all kind of frightful reviews so i've used this i've uh, dried my hair having a wash and go on i've also like used a roller set so my hair was like really big and it fit in here so no matter how big your head is it's going to fit in here i guarantee you like it's big big enough like you see you have all this space left and then um you can of course adjust up and down like it's very very stable and easy to use and easy to manipulate and then you have these buttons here you have the timer uh up to 60 seconds and the good thing with this dryer is like it's not like you know some dryers have just like 
three settings you have the cool then medium and then really really hot and maybe sometimes most times the medium is like burning hot and you don't know what to do this one you start from like cool up to like you have like 10 one two three four yeah you have like 10 different settings you have the cool the cooler the coolest and then the warm the warm and the warmest you know and before it's really really hot then you'll be all the way here so i used it and i was like on uh, 50 degrees and it was just comfortably warm and not hot and i could sit in there and chill with a book or with my phone for like two hours i remember i was drying my hair from uh, rods flexi rods yeah from flexi rods and i was enjoying myself in here for two good hours i didn't need to come out because it was too hot or not i was just in there having the time of my life and my hair was like getting dry you know and it did its job and of course if you want it really really hard then you can then take it up to whatever level but i like the fact that you can air dry your hair in here like just use the cool air and it will do its job it works perfectly fine you also have the high and the low so when you put the high then it will be extra extra hard like I'd, i've never used the high like i don't find the need to use high unless what i don't know because low does its job just fine so uh, what else can i say about this hair dryer i think that's it it's very it really feels like quality like it doesn't really look cheap although it was it really looks like quality you know uh what else uh i think that's it overall it's a good hair dryer i have do i have any complaint about it for now uh yeah the only complaint i have about the hair dryer is this timer it makes tick 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 all the way all the way while you're drying your hair but that is just too mild of a complaint like it doesn't bother you it doesn't bother me that much so far as every other thing works perfect that sound doesn't bother me so that's the only thing i had negative oh no sorry i had another one yeah the cable ends with this plug so if you don't have it you have to have an attachment in order to use it so but luckily enough i had this universal attachment so it wasn't a problem for me the only negative thing was this tick 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 that the timer does which is like nothing at all so the dryer from one to ten to me it's a nine why do i say nine it's a ten it's a ten it's a ten so if you're looking for a cheap hair dryer that will not fail you go for this m1 is it m1 yeah it's like mwah. <laughs> m1 hair dryer yeah and uh, i'm sure you'll be satisfied okay all right so right now i'm just going to attach a clip of how i mounted it and the box in which it came in and that will be it like that will be it for the video So that's how I mounted this hair dryer and uh, as I said it was very very easy anyway let me not talk too much I've told you already the main things everything you need to know about it and the rest in case I left anything will be in the description box below that being said thank you so much for watching if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel 
and then i will see you in my next one bye